Okay, you're welcome. Okay, actually, I was talking about the language, French and English, and how some of them were the worst in between. You're talking about a library and then bibliotech. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's oh, it. nice. Yes. Okay. Yes, no, my point is if you want to attract people to a language, you have to make it fun, you have to make it familiar, you have to give people some reason why they would like to learn. Um, some people to refer to and say, oh, I would be able to connect with these people. My motivation to learn some Chui is because I have met so many amazing people in mm -hmm. Ghana. Uh, I want to be able to talk to them. I want to be able to connect with them. That's the motivation. You need a propeller. And, um, and starting with something that shows it's very boring, like math. Making French talk like it's math or physics. It's not attractive. Wow. I'm hoping this can go down into the schools because that is we're where trying. it starts. We're, we're trying, we're trying. We've we're, we're got a big program to fund teaching of teachers. And it's not only about polishing their French, but it's also about teaching them how to make teaching fun. Okay. Thank you so much for helping us with the French bit. I'm hoping that after this, I will pay more attention to French and see if I can pick up some languages. Now, let's talk about your achievements so far. Have you taken all the lists you've made for, you know, growing up, what I wanted to be? Have you achieved all and your bucket list, the fun side of Ghana? Have you been able to cancel all of them? Or you said Kwame Eugene. You wanted, he was there. <laughs> that was in your bucket list that you've checked that one out. So, is your bucket list getting MTR by the day? Um, actually, my, my, my journey was not so much as a bucket list that I, that I oh. ticked, but then like an Easter egg uh, search. Oh. Suddenly, I, I, I was just going along and then suddenly finding golden eggs and saying, wow, I didn't expect to have such a privilege. I didn't expect to, I didn't even know it was in my bucket list. So, um, <laughs> I, I never had a bucket list. I never had uh, um, dreams. My only dream was to feel good in whatever I was doing. It was to achieve something where at the end of the day, I would say, okay, I have made something better. I have uh, improved someone's life. I have made someone happy. I've put a smile on someone's face. Um, and and I'm, I'm very honest by saying that. That's what makes me the happiest when sometimes, sometimes hardly knowing you, just placing a phone call or just saying a few words of reassurance, people say, you don't know how, how much it means to me. Well, that means a lot to me because there is, sometimes I've got people who say, yeah, you know, we met like 10 years ago and you told me this and that. I took it on board and I decided to do that. So I, I believe that you have somehow contributed to change my journey. And I'm like, really? <laughs> so understanding that sometimes what you say the, the kind of supportive words you can have the kind of just a smile that you can give to someone to show that you trust that that person can do it uh, we do not realize how meaningful it can be for them and it costs nothing and and it's very meaningful for me to know that somehow i may have had a little impact in some people's life so i didn't say i i never look at my future saying oh i want to be an ambassador or i want i wanted to be a doctor oh. because that's what ticks the boxes of changing people's lives mm. and and improving something in, because when you're a doctor people come to you because they have something wrong and you're fixing it but um but somehow along the line i, I diverted and, and, and i and i changed it i didn't do um uh, the, the right medical studies and uh, eventually, yes, somehow I'm, I'm doing the same, I'm serving the same purpose in a different way. But I didn't really uh, have, I never dreamt of, of uh, being, a, being an ambassador or, or it's, it's just a privilege. It's, it all comes to me like, oh, wow, my God. And actually, I'm, I'm quite grateful that that's the way it happened. Because when you've been looking for, looking for something for a long time, when it happens, you're sometimes disappointed. Yeah. You're like, is that you're it? Like, is that it? And when you didn't expect it and you're pushed into it, you want to be to live up to the expectations that because people have believed in you and you want to make them proud. And that's to me a much stronger propeller than uh, achieving and sitting there saying, Hi, good. <laughs> well, thank you so much for 
not making the people that pushed you there down but making them proud and we are very proud of you and so is our supporter skin gome so i have a present for you oh, really? yes i have a gift for you to say thank you for being an amazing woman for pushing and doing everything to make we the young ladies and i'm sure a young boy somewhere is like, oh wow this is very possible i can also do it so please can i have my presence from skin gome to her excellency okay so this is a present from skin gourmet they are handmade natural raw skincare products oh, wow. and some of their products does that make me as pretty as you oh yeah you are very pretty <laughs> <laughs> so this is for them thank and you. they want to say thank you for being an exceptional and it's woman handmade in ghana. yes handmade in ghana wow, they say you so much. yes you can open it and oh, see God. what they have for you okay let uh, me help you. that way right yes Oh wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, so they have coconut oil. Oh, actually, they have... I know this brand. Oh, nice. I do, I do. I know this brand. Yeah. Coconut. This smells so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's how bad I am with kitchen sprays. <laughs> I never let, let, me, let me help you with it. So, eventually that's how spray. Oh, spray. Yeah. it says spray. Actually, yeah. <laughs> you only need to read. Yes, yeah, so it off. off. So this is from them. Wow, look at that. It's a cleanser. Oh, yeah. Smells nice. Smell so it's this is for you. And at One Play Africa, One Play Woman, we also want to celebrate you for doing so well for the youth, especially. I'm a youth. So for you I to come. See that. Yes, <laughs> for you to come all the way. We have champagne for you oh, wow. to pop and you celebrate you. Oh no, it's it's not, it's not, it's not a coffee. Please, can I have the champagne for Her Excellency? I'm gonna share with my team. Oh yeah. yeah. So this is a present from One Play Africa, One Play Woman to Her Excellency. We want to say a very big thank you for doing so much for We The Youth in Ghana. We appreciate you a lot and we appreciate the fact that we see you hanging out with some of our favorite stars. It's like, oh, this woman is so cool, like really cool. And this is for you, for being an exceptional leader and keep doing what you're doing. We really love you for what you're doing. So this is for you. I think I should leave it for you to pop it yourself uh -huh. since it's for you. Uh -huh. yes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. So and you see the way we, we, we yes. serve it. Okay. And this is for you. Yo, yo, you can help. You can take it. <laughs> okay. Let me help you with yours. Thank you. All right. It smells sweet. It smells like grape. Oh, yeah. Well, Thank which you. Makes sense. <laughs> when it comes to wine, it makes sense that it's flavored like grape. Grape, yes. So, this so good, is good. for you. And toast for being an amazing woman. Thank we you. appreciate you and please keep doing what you're doing so we can keep following you and keep your cheering up for you. Thank you so much. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for this platform, the opportunity to talk to you. And um, I equal to the women. Okay, don't let anyone tell you that you cannot do it because you can do it and maybe sometimes you can do it better. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. One play, one play, one play. At class to your music.